the rubber on our scrape tractor is just getting a little bit tired, as you can see. Ha, <laughs> get it tired. <laughs> and it's getting to the point of this. So Heidi's just doing a bit of pressure washing this afternoon, getting the beds ready for when cows do come in. And I've just got to pressure wash this, just to see if I could be able to do it on my own, which seems pretty simple. But you know what I'm like? I'm very good at making a simple job hard. I don't know if it's actually catching that, but it will do at some point. And look, so all you do is just flip it around. Am I gonna make a video of flipping the rubber around on that? Yes, I am. Good morning, everyone. If you have not already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring a little bell. Videos every Tuesday, Friday, on the odd occasion, we do the Sunday videos. I'm not happy. Um, and it's not like, oh, I'm not happy because of X, Y, and Z. I try and make my videos like pretty upbeat. We try and do the highs and lows, but you know, even the lows, I try and have a good time and stuff. But right now is very, very annoying. Still haven't done third cut. We have around 60 or 70 acres of third cut to do. We've got three patches of big bales to do. They're probably an acre or two each patch, maybe a little bit more. And um, it's just wet. It's just raining. Oh, it's just been raining, raining, and more raining. Horrible. Cows are a little bit short of grass, so I'm just going to change it up and we're going to do something a little bit different that we haven't done for years. I'll show you what. So what we're doing is we've got the feed trailer out. Dad has already hooked it up for me. This feed trailer we got out, if some of you remember when we tidied up the next to the silo bit, which is getting messy again, which is very annoying. Blew its tires up. Dad's done it again because they are rock hard now. And Desmondo, Desmondorino, the man himself, sorted out the edges. Some of you actually saw that he sorted out the edges on a video or an Instagram post. I can't remember one or the other. Some of you saw it. We did that. Desmondo did this when he had a bit of time. Can we just stop the video right now? Huge congratulations to my sister and Desmondo, who welcome to the world their little boy, Henry. Desmond Bowden. Uh, so they welcomed Henry to the world on the 20th of August. Really, really exciting. Uh, well done to P. Uh, she's absolutely smashed it. She is taking uh, she is taking motherhood in her stride as we all knew she would. Because she's an absolute boss lady. Doing something we've not done in years. We are using this feed trailer. Can you stop making noise? I'm gonna put a silage bale on it and I'm gonna put a bale of straw on it. That's what dad wants to do and that's no problem. Where Neptune is, is the only place we are a bit short of grass and we've got nowhere to put them until we do our third cut. Really annoying. I've even thought about electric fencing some of the silo ground and letting them graze that. It's so far gone, they won't eat it very well. It's an absolute nightmare. I, don't, I think a lot of people are in the same boat. Just look at this. Look at this. This is like this 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 kind of wetness is a bad winter. Um, it's just been awful. We've not done this for ages, like I keep saying. Gotta do it. We want to make sure the cows, the young stock have got enough feed. We do not want them to go backwards. We've worked so hard to get them where they are now. And if they went backwards, I would be uh, very oh, very close to my face. If we went backwards, I'd be I'd be very upset. Not what you want in your stock. Right. Get a big bale and a bale of straw. The straw is to roughen them up. There's not a lot of energy in the grass. It's a lot of water. It's like slush puppy at the moment. You'll be surprised not. Get a bale of haylage, a bale of straw, take it over the road, see how they enjoy it. Dad's gonna say he's two penance in a bit as well. But yeah, it's, it's really not great. Not great at all. It's not even September yet currently as I film. It's like the last day. Never been this wet in August since I've been here. Like eight years, mental. Like a rat up a drain vibe. We could all agree, I could probably have done a little bit of a better job, but if it's in, it's in. Get the straw. I like it better when I'm under the sun.
Did I leave my camera bag in here? Yes, I did. Did the big veil fall? No. Tom wins. Yes, please. Big bail in there, they didn't fall in my bag. Yes, ballast truck. So we've got this in just to bung them up a little bit because obviously they're gonna be a little bit thin being on just this fluffy grass. We had a bit of an issue this morning. These guys with Neptune, the Highlands and the biggest of our young stock got through a gate over there. Got in, got top of the dike, top of this dike, top of here. We just had a drive through, didn't we, Dad? And was yeah. like, it is wet. So we've just, this is why we've decided to get this trailer out. Um, first time I've seen before. It's first time we've used it for years, isn't it? Uh, not used it since we were at Moss Side. We left there in 2008. So that's, that's, that's 12 years ago. Moss Side, the old farm that we had. It's just crazy wet. I don't know. I think you can tell from the drone footage there are spots of water and wetness everywhere, and it's just completely awful the most important reason we've done this for these broke out this morning they're, they're on a wet piece this field is very known to be wet and it will tread up so it's the old question now at this time of year the way the weather is the cows have got five mouths the mouth they eat with and before they tread all the grass in the ground with so they've got five mouths so they're wasting a lot of ground and before they poach it all up and ruin it all with a good hard stand in here with two gates we can allow them to get off shut the gate fill it up again fill it up again get the trailer or you could bring a bale to it yeah, you've you got options yeah, we've you? got options we've got a mixture between straw and a big bale of silage we haven't that much big bale silage left really no. well, well, we, we, we meant to do that because we, the big bales are getting a bit old so yeah, that's what we wanted to eat them up didn't we but that big bale's really nice stuff there's nothing wrong with it but there's no point in them eating it all and not eat a bit of straw as well yeah and these heifers being with the bull and we want them to carve at two years old there's no way we want them to go back for a month or six weeks we don't want them to lose flesh or basically may even some of them reabsorb the very fetuses we we've got to keep them going you've got to keep you got to think as well it is start of september end of august you know we normally don't buffer feed this time of year at all no get it <whistles> might work they come in. <laughs> we never really feed young stock outside, no. do we? The other case, we've put a ring feeder. We've done something. We've done something the other occasion, yeah. but we've never done this. We've never fed this hard. But these guys are really going to need it. We feel, don't we, Dad? Yeah. But they're still well conditioned. I, I hope they do come up. You can see them. They've still got plenty of flesh on the back, but it's easy to take the flesh off. You don't want to start trying to put it on. Oh no, it's it's too late. Once you see them going backwards, it's too late. If they don't eat it, there's nothing any harm. We'll take it back to the, yeah. the to our cows, the milk cows. If they don't eat it. It's good because they're on the grass. They're on the grass. Where the weather's been, and also the way the conditions of the field are, we don't want them breaking out. We don't want to make them go backwards for the sake of a couple of big bales for a week or two. And hopefully, if we get our silo off, and then there's another. Just ask you that question. Yeah. How do you think silo is going to be? Ooh. How's, how's the grass looking, Ooh. Dad? Well, you can't mow underwater, and until the water's gone in the bottom of the grass, there's no chance of even looking at mowing. And at the end of the day, we've got to carry these big trailers and big uh, forager. Big tyres on the tractor may help. May help this year. Big <laughs> tyres on that tanker. Big tyres on the tanker. There's a couple of thoughts that I've thought. You'll see our lagoon. I've done a couple of Instagram and Snapchats about how full that thing is. It's never been that full at this time of year. Um, I'm glad we put the big tyres on. Oh. Made me think maybe we should have put a rain gun on that tanker. Okay. Yeah, but they, there's not a lot of places we can spread a rain gun. No, you know, we're very limited because we're either off a road or we are like quite close to ditches and dikes. Yeah, so we can't really start spreading near those. No, you know, you've got the, the law that you've got to abide by. So a rain gun would only have used for a little bit, but looking at the moment. Wet. It is wet and um, you know if we'd have managed to get the grass off when we normally do end of August um, we'd have had a good 70 yeah. acres for them to go over. So this time today yeah. we were sheeting up and I crashed my old drone. drone. 
Yeah. This time today we're shooting last up year. over the road. Last, last year. year. Yeah. And that was late enough, really. I mean, the prize, we've got some grass over there. There is a crop. It's gone down with the thunderstorms. And when we see it, when we get to mowing it, it's gone down. The heads have gone down. It's turning really heady and whatever, the younger grasses. And, and it's now it's green. growing green again because it's growing through the crop. And that is a real mess. It'll take some mowing. We'll test that Malone this time. Just a question when to pull the trigger and get going. Well, it won't be any time now. It won't be for a week. when grass is underwater. Oh. And it just looks like those highlands are traipsing through water to get here. I thought about that. The highlands are going to get their heads in there. Uh, They're quite big actually. These, yeah. these end ones are big. Yeah. Well, if they get stuck, they'll take the trailer with them, won't they? We'll find they'll, out. They'll learn. We'll have to check them every day. Yeah. You just show them this weir. He loves the weir. Yeah, loves it's very picturesque, isn't it? Yeah. If it wasn't an issue, it'd be quite nice to look oh, at. Oh, it'd be beautiful. <laughs> Salt in the wounds I got whilst chasing the cows that escaped. Rip my waterproofs. Nightmare. Not as bad as me. Yeah, you got your foot in water. I fell in the dirt. <laughs> we have a, a two ditch dike system. This is the existing Liggard Brook. This is the one that drained the back end of Lytham, one that goes through Lytham, everyone works to. And the main drain, which was man built to nearly 160 years ago, is that much lower. They dug it out to drain the farmland of the piles. And that's the top of it. We're at the top of the main drain at this end. And the weir, it's pouring over, causing water to go into our system so that will save Lytham flooding. Lytham will not flood as long as it goes over this weir. And, well, they uh, raised it, didn't they, by, they raised it two by two inches last year? They raised it by 10 to 4 inches, 4 inches, 10 centimetres, or 15, 15 centimetres, I think. Six inch plinth they put on. They put a six inch plinth on, they've done it twice. Six inch on that, yeah. To make it so it actually pushed more water that way. Because it was forever going over. Because of maintenance, on the, uh, uh, maintenance on the ditches, the water can't get it to the, to, to the sea anymore. It's, it's not even high tide at the moment. This is constantly running over. Has done for the last two weeks or more. But we're getting water. Now. And we're getting the water from somewhere else to save little flooding. And that's the development further upstream on the natural brook. This is fine if they pump it down to nothing, but as Thomas has shown you, frustration in my voice, in winter they couldn't pump it fast enough and the, the ditch itself is silted up so it's not getting to the, ta the sea on tidal flow, on gravity flow and the pumps they don't like using because of the costs and everything else so we're left, we just fill up in the middle and as our land is a good six, eight foot lower than where we're stood now we're, uh, when it's full, the land's full it's a real annoyance, it's a pain in the backside unless we're pumping, it just, it's just giving us more and more water than ever we had 20 years ago I wouldn't believe it it annoys you doesn't it dad? It annoys me, frustrates me something that won't annoy you I can well, see some highlands I can see some highlands Shall we shut it and get them off? <laughs> <laughs> no We can nibble that bit How you doing? They can't be that hungry No I thought, this morning I thought they were starving But you'd think they'd come around here They'll find it, won't they? They'll still find it Hey Toph Babe Hey Toph they're obviously not as hungry as we first thought. I was very worried. It's one of those, this is what we need to do now. Um, but obviously, if they were very hungry, they'd be eating it. <laughs> Just explaining a little bit of the struggles we're having at the moment with the weather again. It's the second time this year. First time was back in January, February. And we're definitely having those struggles again, aren't we, Dad? Sure, yeah. It's sure, a just yeah. A, it's a big headache for us as farmers. We want to do our best. We're probably yeah. siloing less land than we ever have this year. But We've got cows out on yeah, more ground. More and ground. But just fortunately, they are spread out. Otherwise, it'd be making even more mess. If it stays like this all weekend, the top could dry up, and uh, we could get rid of some moisture. It'll be very. <laughs> we'll be very yeah. pleased. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up. If you did, subscribe yeah. to the YouTube channel, TP Merch, Home to Farm Shop, the K slash TP Merch. Yeah. Uh, new merch in yeah, okay. end of September, October. Highlands are finally in. Mm. Munching on some grass. Mm. Wanted a video of them eating at the end. Sometimes doesn't work, but that is YouTube. Definitely. See ya. Bye. Look, guys, what you been doing? <laughs> Oh, there's only six here. Did not really smash it too much. Oh, nearly fell. It's weird, that makes me feel so much better because it means they weren't absolutely 
famoosed. If they were really hungry, like everything would be here. So it makes me feel better. Just sick munching. Wonder how much is gonna be left on Monday. But that's good. I was getting a little bit worried. And when I made this video, I was like, I'm gonna make this video. I'm gonna like express my feelings because I was really annoyed. I had one of those, I can't be asked with the rain anymore. Oh, you can just see the cows through that gap there. They're all chilling there. Couldn't be bothered with the rain. Couldn't be bothered just being wet. I had enough of just the day of just being wet and rainy, of not having third cut in, having to get some cows in early, maybe. But um, for some reason, can't, don't really stay in a mood for long. Do we moves? We try not to. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the video. The cows are happy which is the most important thing. I'm gonna go home and Joe is making homemade pizzas. Sounds 